Hey YouTubers, this is KShadow22 here back on Windows 10 and if you have Alienware 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, whatever you have, this may be why you're watching this video. Well, when I was upgrading to Windows 10, I had a lot of problems and I'm going to tell you a few things that I had to do to fix them. First off, I tried installing Windows 10, first off like the day it came out. And what happened was is it crashed my computer and I had to uh, reset everything. Though I was able to keep all my files because I had the installation disk that came with the computer. So uh, after doing that, I kind of gave up on Windows 10. I was kind of skeptical about it. Well, just last night what I did was I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it again. So I tried it again and uh, everything went really smoothly and then... Windows 10 popped up and I couldn't connect to the internet. It wouldn't even recognize a ethernet cord. It wouldn't do any of that. It wanted nothing to do with the internet. It wouldn't even say that I could have Wi-Fi. So that was really strange to me. So I started messing with the drivers. And one thing that did help was, is if you go to the Dell website, you'll probably need two computers to do this. Uh, if you go to find it myself, you can have it guide you. If you can't connect to the internet, but you're having different... Uh, other driver problems you're going to want to detect drivers Th that'll be easiest for you guys but if you can't connect to the internet and you have another computer you can go in here you're going to find uh, everything and I would do all and you want to change the operating system to Windows 10 and then what I would do is just install all of these right here uh, this is for Alienware 14, but you can change that to a different product. But this will definitely fix any driver issues that you have. This will update all the drivers for you, and uh, if you have any problems, it's going to fix those problems. Okay, now another thing that uh, Windows 10 made me do, uh, that did fix the problem, but then I did some other crap, and then I had to reinstall Windows 10. Well, anyways, what happened is... Instead of redoing all that, what I did was it, Windows 10 wanted me to repair it. So I hit repair and it said the only way to repair was to either erase everything or to leave only your files and uninstall everything. So if you just uninstall everything, have Windows 10 uninstall everything and then do its thing, you should be all set to go and that's what I did. And if you have Alienware, you're going to have to reinstall Command Center with the resource disk. So I don't recommend that way. I recommend going to the website and manually installing every driver. It's not that hard. But I hope this helped or at least gave you guys some ideas or tips. If you have any questions, shoot them down in the comments. No hate, please. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm willing to help. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.